So now, um, I want to think about this whole second derivative being equal to zero and first derivative being equal to zero at the same time. Okay? Because there's another common example, which um, you don't have to draw because I think you know it very well. But I'm going to get you to um, write x cubed, and we're going to differentiate it a couple times to see what happens. Okay? So, here's what x cubed kind of looks like. y equals x cubed. Okay? So, first derivative. 3x squared, right? Second derivative, 6x, right? Okay, so again, at the origin, you've got first derivative of 0, second derivative of 0. But it's quite different to the example we just looked at, right? What kind of point is this? Is it a turning point? It's not a turning point, because it doesn't go up and then go down, or vice versa. It just goes up and then goes up. This is that weird anti-gravity apple we were thinking about before. Right? So, not a turning point. Is it a stationary point? What's the definition for a stationary point? Um, Derivative of zero, or you could say the tangent at that point should be horizontal. And that checks out, right? So, it is a stationary point. Okay? How else can we describe this? We just worked out the second derivative, right? What kind of point is this? Um, the concavity is yeah, yeah, good. We looked at this, right? There's a change in concavity. Yeah. It's concave down for these values, right? And then it's concave up for these values, okay? So it is also a point of inflection, okay? And this is important, okay? So I'm going to put it in another color. When you have these two coexisting at the same time, namely a stationary point and a point of inflection, when you look at it, what kind of feature is it? Well, it's a, um, a horizontal point of inflection, right? Because the points of inflection we looked at before, like x cubed plus x, looks kind of like this, right? You can still see the concave down part and the concave up part, but at that point there, it's not horizontal, right? But this one is. Okay? So you remember we said stationary points, right? They might be turning points or they might not be. If they're not turning points, they'll be these horizontal points of inflection. Okay? So, first derivative is zero because it's horizontal, second derivative is zero because you have the changing concavity. Okay?